32 roof skin. I don't think I've ever talked to anybody about one of them, luckily. I had a guy email me this morning on one. All right, guys. Uh, over on Instagram, I posted up a thing the other day about if you guys want to ask us questions to include in the video, we will pick out our favorite questions uh, or favorite question to feature, and you know we'll we'll post you know your screen name up and everything and your question and answer it and send you a sticker pack of old retired stickers from you know the last couple years because I got tons of them, but we had one question. That we got a bunch of so you guys gave us a whole idea for a video and that is about the nissan heritage program now the nissan heritage program is something that mismo japan developed and launched back in let me look at my release here you guys will see it it's up on the screen uh november 24 2017 um this program was launched for gtr owners in japan there's no intentions on exporting parts or anything like that. We can't get the parts from the Heritage Program. Many of the parts that we could get in the past are now on the Heritage Program. Um, and Nismo has since added R33 and R34. Really great idea. Um, doesn't benefit us in any way because we don't sell those parts. Um, but, you know, if you've got connections over in Japan, um, you know, hit them up and see if they can help you out. And speaking of stuff that seems to be going away, mm -hmm. right? Um, one item that I'm hearing through the rumor mill is this GTR key. Oh, it's on the it's on the program. It's, done. it's, it's done. in it's okay. in the catalog. <laughs> so this is the GTR key. It's a gorgeous key, and this is the one that's going away. Uh, we've got I think we've got maybe two left sitting yeah. on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, on our website. You have to email us to get the link uh, to buy it, so we don't get, you know, we don't want to disappoint anybody by having them submit orders and they have to right. say sorry they're gone. So the part number for this key, the GTR key, is M dash K E Y zero zero dash zero zero one eight five. Uh, we'll get some good pictures up of that key. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're on the if you're on the website, just hit the contact for availability button. And it'll take you right into a contact form and when you do that it goes to this guy he's gonna go make sure we do have one left and he'll send you a link and you can purchase it yeah and yeah mm. those are those are going away i might i kind of want to get one for myself i know i'm the same even, way even I, though yeah. i don't have a GTR, right, right but um you know for investment purposes down the road yeah um the other item that came up is the is it the ke24 oil pan yes that's done Apparently, from Unfortunately. what Nissan's telling us. Yeah. Yeah, so from our last video, we're giving away a $100 store credit. And the winner, all you need to do is um, contact us, get in touch with me um, or Tom, and we will we'll get you taken care of. Just let us know what you want. Um, but go ahead. Well, let me, what would you buy with 100 bucks here? What would I buy with 100 bucks? Yeah. Um, I, think that, I think that the last video I did talking about all the s13 essential parts stuff like that yeah stuff that like you don't want to spend money on but you know you need and you know it'll change your life right um you know that, i don't know okay there's a lot of stuff you can get mm -hmm. what would you get i'd probably buy one of these keys <laughs> 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 this or the uh the, the nismo duffel bag that we've got coming in yeah those are cool yeah and you don't need you know any other reason other than you need a bag i have a bag obsession my wife hates it she's <laughs> like why are you looking at bags i'm like i don't know <laughs> it's different than the ones i have you're kind of a sneaker guy too huh i uh, don't want to get into it. it it's yeah i don't know how it happened i've never been a sneaker person but somehow i've, I've got 50 pairs of shoes yeah i don't know if that's the right number but a lot all right, let's All jump right. into it. Why don't All you right. read the story first? All right, so let's give a couple of honorable mentions to first guy, Michelle P. But she comments frequently on yeah. our videos, so we appreciate you, Michelle. Um, he wins an honorable mention for the most double entendres <laughs> in his story. If you if you go to our YouTube page, look for Michelle P's story, and 
just keep an open mind. <laughs> keep an open, <laughs> keep an open, dirty mind and read between you the better, lines. You better have an open mind to even be here watching our videos. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, Jonathan Luna, his story was pretty good. I'm not going to go into details why his was funny, um, but it was a pretty good story. But the winner was Jose Lopez, and it's pretty short, so I can read it real quick. Yeah. We can edit if needed. Just um, test it out. All right. You guys ready? The world can be a small place sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. The world can be a small place sometimes, as my story was that a buddy of mine had mentioned that his cousin's friend had been looking to date. So they set something up for us to meet up at a get together, as one of my friend's relatives was having a birthday party. Little did I know that it turned out to be my cousin. <laughs> When I saw her and yelled to get her attention and ask, what are you doing here? My friend was tapping my shoulder. I told him, hey, this is my cousin. He gave me the look like she's the girl we were talking about. I turned so red and she did too after I told her that they were setting us up to meet. L-M-A-O, which means laughing profusely. A lot. Out loud. I mean, I hope the date went well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, hopefully the party was cool, and you met somebody else, and fell in love. Yeah. Right? Hopefully there's a happy ending for that story. Yeah, hopefully you're both like, hey, I have another friend. <laughs> and better you found out before than after. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And last Friday's video, we talked about something we had coming in for the Dawson guys. Mm-hmm. And it is here now. Which I'm pretty stoked about this. I like... Dotsons. I grew up with them. My I, dad had them. I think emblems are really cool, especially old emblems. Yeah. There was a whole lot of. You go out on the lot and look at our new cars, and every emblem's the same, just with different letters. Back in the day, they put a little thought into put more it. Thought into it. Yeah. I feel. But this is it right here. It's the triple S emblem, which stands for Super Sports Sedan. Yes, it does. Now I've only ever seen a, a triple S Bluebird. Mm -hmm. in real life once and it was just randomly parked in somebody's driveway oh wow in san francisco just filthy now do you prefer the four-door 510s or the two-door i don't care yeah yeah probably a four-door i really like the four-door yeah. as well i think the two doors are cool but i think the four-door just, just to me just looks it just looks like that's the way that car should be yeah well the two-door the thing about the two-door is while well, it's like I think they've just like gotten so expensive. Yeah. Like it's like, I just prefer the four door because if I was going to get one, I could probably find one that was semi affordable. Yeah. yeah. Or is it that we're dead? Yeah, and we got to get kids <laughs> in the back too. Yeah. It's adhesive. There's no pegs on the back. This was produced for the the U13. Is that correct? U13. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's an alternate because the original ones. I'm assuming the original ones were all metal with pegs on the back probably yeah. right I, I doubt that they would have used and the cool thing it's got an arrow to let you know which way is the right side up did you know that? yeah i was looking at it when i was taking pictures of it and i, I flipped it over to see like is it like is it like a mirror image of itself i couldn't really make it out it looks like it is doesn't it i think it's i think it's slightly different because like that does not look right and we'll show you guys both see that looks happier that they're like happy s's here they're pretty mad. I don't know, maybe. For some reason it does look different, but I feel like it's just like an optical illusion. Well, congratulations, Jose Lopez, on your story. That made us chuckle a little bit. Yeah. Um, out of all of them. Uh, Jonathan Luna, good job, dude. Maybe next time. Michelle, that was, it was a good story. It was pretty yeah. funny. But um, yeah, Jose, you've got $100 store credit. You know, I was kind of, I, I was, I was, uh, I was kind of triggered by his story a little bit when he was talking about breaking down in a 521. Yeah. Because I've rain. been there. I've broke down in my 521. And the old guy at a bus stop come out and he goes, oh, you flooded it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all I've got. You're a wicked guy. Yeah. yeah.